The elephant bar deadlift world record currently stands at 474 kilos by the mountain half Thor Julius Bjornsson. Can we see that record broken at this year's Arnold Strongman Classic? So the Rogue Elephant Bar was introduced to competition in 2016. This will be the seventh time we've seen it in competition. Five times it's been at the Arnold Strongman Classic and one time 2021 at the Rogue Invitational they used it as well. So It's a lovely bit of kit. Rogue yes, always so. make incredible kit and the Elephant Bar deadlift is just a beautiful piece of, you know, crafting to look at the the plates the bar everything is yeah. just spectacular it's a lovely bar liz doesn't appreciate the bar like i do do you know what i miss the hammer tire the hammer tire is cool yeah. I, I like the hammer tire but i do like the... i'd like to see like it alternate maybe one mm. at one one at the other I don't sponsors know. auntie liz sponsors oh, okay sorry <laughs> So first up, we have Jeff Caron from Canada pulling 463 kilos at the 2018 Arnold Strongman Classic. Also pulling 463 kilos on this bar is Brian Shaw, who did it at the 2016 Arnold Strongman Classic. 465 kilo also at the 2016 Arnold Strongman Classic by Eddie Hall. 468 kilos was pulled by Jerry Pritchett in the 2017 Arnold Strongman Classic. And as it stands, the current biggest lift we've ever seen on this bar is by Hafthor Julius Bjornsson at the 2019 Arnold Strongman Classic, where he lifted 474 kilograms, 1,046 pounds. So those numbers are no joke, Lasse. No, fantastic lifts, and any one of those numbers is gonna be very hard to beat at this competition. Mm. But we do have some fantastic lifters competing. We do, and of all those guys mentioned, of course, none of them are competing this year. But out of the 10 athletes that are competing, five of them have already lifted on the elephant bar. So let's see what their best lifts are to date. So Luke Stoltman has lifted on the elephant bar before, 2021 Rogue Invitational, and he pulled 384 kilos. Mateusz Kiliuszkowski isn't known as being the best deadlifter, but he managed 402 kilos at the 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic. Tom Stoltman has pulled on this bar before, he pulled 413 kilos at the 2021 Rogue Invitational. Rob Kearney has pulled on this bar before and his best is 418 kilos from the 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic. And out of the 10 men competing at this year's competition, the best on the elephant bar so far is Bobby Thompson, who's pulled 420 kilos. So of course, only five out of the 10 men that we'll be seeing have pulled on this kit. Now, what's the big differences between a standard bar deadlift? Because everyone seems like maybe their numbers are a little down. We have to remember a suit isn't allowed at the Arnold yeah. Strongman Classic. There is not actually a huge amount of difference or in terms of pulling a deadlift on a deadlift bar and pulling on the elephant bar it's a little bit longer the bar is a little bit thicker but it still kind of flexes in a similar way because those weights are out a little bit further and the bars a bit thicker it still seems to be the same kind of, of bend that you get okay. in a, a deadlift bar the, the the big factor is that the athletes at the Arnold aren't allowed to use deadlift suits so you don't get quite as much pop off the floor and it's just more of a true test of, of back and leg strength. Now then, just for fun, let's take a look at all 10 of these men's best deadlifts in competition. So that can be either standard bar or de elephant bar to see how they stack up against each other. Okay, so starting at number 10, we have Maxime Boudreau, who pulled 351 kilos at the 2020 Arnold USA. Next is Thomas Evans, who currently has a competition PB of 365 kilos, which he pulled at the 2021 America's Strongest Man. Luke Stoltman has a 400 kilo PB in competition at the 2019 World Ultimate Strongman. Now, Trey Mitchell surprises me, but his PB in competition is 400 kilos, which he did for three reps in the 2020 Wuss Feats of Strength. I think Trey is capable of much more. And this I is the thing. So these are Yeah, of course. Of course, some of these guys haven't gone for a max standard deadlift for years. So, you know, take it with a pinch of salt. So next we have Bobby Thompson, who's pulled 420 kilos, and that was on the elephant bar at the 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic. 
Next is Mateusz Kieliszkowski, who's pulled 420 kilos on a standard deadlift bar at the 2019 World's Ultimate Strongman. Tom Stoltman pulled 430 kilos at the 2019 World Ultimate Strongman. Then in third place, we have Rob Kearney, who's pulled 440 kilos at the 2019 World Deadlift Championships. Mitch Hooper pulled 453 and a half kilos, a thousand pounds, at the 2022 World Deadlift Championships. And then finally, we have Pavlo Nekinechny, who pulled 453.5 kilos also at the 2021 World Deadlift Championships. Now, in this list, we didn't include Mitch's 475, because I didn't really understand the circumstances. These were, circumstances the, these were the, competition lifts that we've yeah. looked at. So rather than exhibition or gym lifts yeah and i guess you can make an argument against trays but trays other lifts like he hasn't done max deadlift in competition one thing one thing time. i can guarantee you is trey mitchell is going to hit a competition pb yes i i think <laughs> a few of these guys are but it is interesting to look at see what they've done so far but like you see some of this goes back to 2019 that's four years ago now well, one, one thing that's really interesting you know it's very easy to watch people's training yeah. But how, in a competition like the Elephant Bar, where they will select their weights, mm. tactics become important. This is where someone like Brian Shaw was incredible. He yeah. knew how to squeeze the most out of his performance. And this is where these athletes are going to really have to be strategic. Understand, it might not be about going for a record. It might be about just securing big points. If anyone wants to go for the record, then you, you, you kind of risk losing the whole competition of course so it depends how confident you are on your deadlift how well training's going do you do it as a fourth attempt lift which sometimes they do allow mm, okay. out of competition fourth attempt in my opinion we only have one guy that i think could push thor's record pavlo nekonechny pavlo nekonechny Pav? he's looked so good at deadlift competitions i'm really looking forward to seeing what he can do the interesting battle for me then is going to be points Mm. And the, the other interesting battle is going to be whether Pavlo decides to focus on winning the competition or breaking the record. I think he's going to com uh, concentrate on the whole competition personally. I think so too, yeah. uh, especially with you know the the experience he's got now. We've seen him at the World Deadlift Championships before. He won it, obviously. Uh, sorry, he won he, the overall competition. Yeah. yeah. Um, whereas the year before, he just focused on trying to lift as much, and it kind of backfired against him. Last year at the Deadlift World Championships, he focused on the overall competition. I think he'll do the same here. Mm -hmm. um, but his deadlift is phenomenal, and I think his raw deadlift is probably the biggest in terms of numbers that we've seen. However, the likes of Trey Mitchell, 400 is by no means that no, nice no PB. Way, no, no. Um, Bobby Thompson, 420, I can tell you, he's, he's in the shape he's in right now, he's capable of absolutely annihilating that. Uh, Mitch Hooper is gonna pull a big number. What kind of shape does Tom Stoltman get himself into? We've seen the videos of Tom Stoltman is talking about doing a 505 deadlift in the future. I'm going to be interested to see what he pulls in this comp to see how realistic something like that's going to be. So we've got some huge deadlifters in this competition. What's interesting as well is that Rob Kearney has the third biggest PB, well, competition PB deadlift in this yeah, lineup. 440 yeah, 440 kilos. Yeah. Rob Kearney is a great deadlifter. So, you know, can he get in the mix and score some yeah. big points on this one? Can Mateusz come somewhere in the middle, which would really, really help him out in the well, when you look at these, When you look at these numbers... He's in fifth place. He is, he is. If he got a fifth place on the deadlift, that's bad news for a lot of the guys. Oh yeah, terrible news for a lot of them. But there's just, I, do you think the record will go to answer the question? Personally, no. I don't think the record's gonna go. I think somewhere around the thousand pounds is gonna be enough to win this competition. Okay. I think 440 to 460, that is gonna be huge, huge points. Mm. That, that's my personal opinion. We have to remember as well, that the deadlift is on day two. Yeah. So it's not fresh first event. They're already going to have done the log lift. They're going to have done the, the wheel, wheel of pain, pain which good. could well take uh, a lot out of their legs. So I don't think we will see record breaking numbers. I think we're going to see a great deadlift competition. Yeah. Right guys, who are you looking forward to seeing pull on the elephant bar? Do you think the record can go? Do you think like me, day one's gonna to take too much out of them to be pushing records? Do they focus on winning the competition? I like to win competitions and yeah. you know, as much as we love to see records go and if it does go, we will be going wild. It's just nice when they just go as part of the competition. Get it? to the competition, let's see who's the best on the day. That's mm. what I'm looking forward to. We've got some fantastic lifters. I can promise you, 
a number of these personal best competition lifts are going to be broken. So like Uncle Lozzie said, we always value your opinion. So please make sure you leave them in the comments below. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and we will catch you guys next time. Bye.